G'day ladies and gentlemen, my name's Kenneth Fodder, welcome back to Avon Colony, the third game in our month of Colony Builders. It is September, we're playing games! This is live on Twitch, so if you'd like to see more of what goes on behind the scenes, then by all means, the link is in the description down below. Yesterday's stream, we took a look at Crusader Kings 3. Uh, this episode is going to be coming out several days after it is recorded. Don't worry, I am reading the comments, so if you do leave a comment down below, I will respond either with a like, a favour, or a comment. If there is a question that desperately, so desperately needs answering, I do try my best. Anyway, in today's episode... Oh, look, we're building a Zorium generator. Because, my god, we need power. In such... so desperate a fashion. So, so, so desperate a fashion. It's just going to be one of those things. But yes, we will soon have kind of an abundance of power. It's another 360 at level 1. And honestly, I'm probably just going to turn that off. It seems like that's draining power. Hey, it's storing power finally. Okay, because that finally got manned. Reduces Zorium use by 39%, but cuts electricity generation by 50. Yeah, probably, probably not. There we go. Let's get some more. Power storage, battery mode turned off. More things have run out of power. That is fine, we have a crap load of storage. Alrighty then. So the next thing I reckon should be the Expedition Center Tier 1. So we can go and get some more expeditionaries. I just built it. Unless you mean the actual mine itself, and that's already at 100%. It's like fully upgraded. Now oh, they're over there, okay. So we've got some horrible nasties coming in from this side of our colony. We have a few more guns. There we go. I'll put another one out there, I. That's fine. We are. Yeah, let's, let's build a trade hub. Actually, I think that might be a good idea. Let's build that. Down here! There is there is a bit of a sprawling hive. It's, you know, 158 power, or, you know. Open the trade UI. Let us. Uh, hmm. We don't have any gold. I'd like to get, I'd like to import nanites. We don't have any rice. We're not doing melons. We're not doing corn. We're not doing broccoli or anything like that either. It's honestly kind of trash. They're all awful. Yeah. Alright, well that was disappointing. No train! Instead, let us expedite our expeditions. Go to the Storm of Ice Shards. Let's throw that in there. Alright, how are we doing on... Oh, we need more people.
There we go. That is definitely more people. 337 jobs filled out of 278 housing. Storage is full yet again. That's a chem plant. That's a level 3 storage depot. And so is that. Uh, crises detected. The Odysseus is idle. What crises? Oh, my storage is full. That's the crises. Wow, that's rough. What was supposed to be in there? Plasma turret, apparently. Need better air, you reckon? Where? Okay, so it is, it is dropping considerably. Then let us upgrade this and that one. Uh, was there another one up? I thought there was another one all the way over here. Turns out not. All right. The Odysseus is idle, so we should definitely go to. So that's going to load up, and then we can get on our way. <laughs> a mine was there. Oh yeah, we had a mine there, didn't we? Like our very, 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 very first iron mine. Alright, let's, let's look at our overlays for a bit. Crime is minimal. Very low, minimal, minimal, minimal. Okay. So I guess let's put... Stitch the overlay. I'll put one... No, that's... That's a dumb. Let's put you there. Alright, there we go. Travelling to cargo pod and then travelling back. We have units of electricity set to our thing. We are losing a little bit of food. But it is, it is winter, so that's fine. Reached the cargo pod, awesome. All right, air quality over here is just all kinds of awful. And let's upgrade you to the max as well. And that should be fine. I think I might throw another one just in there. All right, and then finally, I think we might save up and upgrade our uh, Zorium generator to get the next 143 power out of that. We have a lovely little sprawling space metropoli. I'm fairly certain that's not what that's called, but I don't care. Uh, let's see, I got one there, one there, one there, and one there. Put one there. Should keep them kind of happy in terms of the commute. The beatings will continue until morale improves. 
And in terms of people storage, we do not have enough people storage. We are short by about 100. So I guess we could also save up for a colony terminal. 130 colonists. I... Oh, I don't have a skyscraper yet. I only have habitat tier threes. Does require 32 power, so let's save for this first. All right. Off they go. Uh, time? It is not yet time. Patient, young one. Patience is a skill well learned. Alright, upgrade our Zorium generator. Oh my goodness. Anyway, must be time for a donut then. Be prepared for happy munching noises. It's quite warm in here. The icing has somewhat melted. Mm. There we go. But, um, this is working out quite well for us. Although the game, the game mode is a touch slower than I would like at this point, so let's just boost that. Nice. Oh, damn. Crap loads of Zorium, a little bit of gold, and 133 nanites. We also got accommodation. Awesome! Okay, so. I'm actually thinking that instead of the thing, let's get a hospital going. There we go. That is important. And then I think it may be time for our first skyscraper. There you go. Yeah. I guess we can make some consumer goods. Hmm. I kind of want to put it next to like a transport hub thing, but at the same time... Oh, you got one there. One there. Let's put that there, and then the re the retail center can we could do something else with that one. Um, we'll put that over this side. Yeah, toxic gas emissions. Whatever, it's fine. We don't have to worry about it. Oh yeah, closed air loop. That's fine. You realize there aren't big batteries, right? There's only the little ones, the tier twos. This, that's it for batteries. Energy battery tier two.
And I have them spread everywhere. I've got like three batteries there. There's a couple of batteries in here. There's a few scattered somewhere else. These are not energy batteries. They're just storage depots. Wow, you're bugging off quick. There we go. It's like, they kind of be out there for a bit. Not sure how I feel about that. But, um, there we go. Alright, looking at the morale again. Colony morale, consumption, and crime. Crime is apparently still an issue. So we get another tier 1 police drone. I suppose this is not that there isn't crime, it probably is that there is. And these are the areas that they're having to patrol. So. Early bird! Ooh, look at that! Achievements! Hello. Here comes the plague! Do they have the plague? Um, hard to tell. I'm informed that your colony is undergoing a hydration crisis. Oh no, I'm running out of water. What? Additional water supplies post haste. Oh, that's mildly concerning. What are you? You're at number two. You're at level two, and you're at level two. Whoopsies. Let's put two of those there, and then we'll need another seventeen nanites. What? How are you full already? Alright, 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 where's the Antari? You there. Low ass production. Oh, totally, I can just deactivate one of them. That seems like that'll do. So I can actually burn through most of that Antari, because... Good lord! Seems like it's mostly Antari and oatmeal. And possibly Kelko Sludge. Alright, so the Kelko Sludge is already at low. Let's deactivate one of them. You are at two, and you are at two as well. Oh my lord, that is loud. Yeah. I guess maybe then we should probably process it into more nanites. More creep spore stuff. And storage is full. Of course the damn storage is full. What else would it be? Alright. Um... The drone hub that's out here is indeed level 1. That's level 2. The one, these two in here are both level 3s. That's a level 2, and I think one out here is a level 1. And it's fine. It doesn't need to be any more than that currently. I'm not. I'm just trying to fill up the space that's within their range. Like, most of the stuff that I want is currently within range still, so it's, it's fine. Um. Uh, I might want that. I don't know. I don't currently have any storage, so... I am going to turn off... 
consumer goods and the oatmeal and flour and pasta. Actually, let's keep the flour on and the bread on. There we go. Let us upgrade, I guess, storage some more. There we go. That deals with that one. Water is still an issue. Although not really. It's 22 per hour, good lord. 1919 22.3 22.3 That's fine Awesome spores are being dealt with in a very sundry manner and I'm going to get some more nanite processes going There we go. Ah, oh, my lord. It is definitely time to finish up this episode. If you like what you saw and want to see more of it, particularly for this particular month, there are other videos on the channel that deal with the realm of the colony builder genre or city builder, uh, city builder survival, colony survival stuff. Uh, we got Banished and Foundation currently, and by the time this particular episode goes up, maybe there might be some more. I don't know. That's, that's, a, that's a question for future canon to deal with, but... Um, Yes, do look around and check those out. Uh, this is all done live on Twitch as well, so do check me out there. Link in the description. But that is all I've got time for today. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.